Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a beautiful card to show you today. Uh, this week I'm using the Changing Leaves Bundle. This is an online exclusive that just means you won't find it in the catalog, you can only find it online. And it's a um, unique bundle in that it has the dies and the embossing folder. And I'm gonna show you how you can emboss and use the die cut at the exact same time, um, which kind of saves you a step. Now I'm not using one of the sentiments here because I really need some birthday cards. So I pulled out the Unbounded Love stamp set and we're gonna use that beautiful scripted happy birthday right there um, in the corner. All right, well let's make our leaves first. All right, you're gonna need a piece of our new mercury vellum. I have cut it six by six so that it fits right here in the folder perfectly. And I am using a blending brush and Cajun Craze ink. Now this paper has a front and a back. Okay, the back is just boring, but the front is all gold and shiny. And you wanna take your blending brush and your Cajun Craze and you're gonna add that ink to the front. Now that gold is going to shine through. I'm not worried about it. It's not going to go away no matter how much ink I add. And you can do this with any colors. I'm using Cajun Craze. I like Cajun Craze. I know it's not everybody's favorite color, but I definitely love it in the fall. And I'm just going to add it here. Now my card base, I didn't use Cajun Craze. I, I'm using uh, Copper Clay. Those two colors seem to be quite interchangeable. They are companion colors, I would say. All right, now this is going to make a mess of your hands. So I actually have my chamois here. Make sure you have something close to you. I probably should have some wipes, but I don't. So we're going to move on. All right, so now we've got that all kind of different. You can see some of the color is dark in areas and some of the color is lighter in areas. And that's OK, because again, our leaves in the fall aren't just a solid uniform color. They're usually kind of you know, have a variety of colors. Okay, so let me tell you about this really cool embossing folder. You can emboss it like you normally would with an embossing folder, but you can also take the die and set it down in the embossing folder. The way I remember is the side that has the Stampin' Up! logo right there is the side you put your die face up with the cutting edge up, and then I'm gonna put my paper face down like that bring this over and when you're embossing you need to remove everything but the first plate all right and then we're going to put the um, plate number four on top and it is a little tight you'll feel it um, but you know it goes through whoops sliding out all right let's see how we did there we go, look at those gorgeous leaves. I mean, come on, how gorgeous are those? Now, just to let you know, you've gotten some ink transfer on your embossing folders. So I always just run it under the sink to clean it, um, but you can also use a baby wipe or even your chamois to, to take care of that. All right, before we put our leaves on our paper, let's emboss our um, early espresso piece. Now there's gonna be a free uh, PDF for you over on my blog that has the measurements and the supply list as well as two other changing leaves projects. So make sure you hop over there and check that out. All right, so I've used my embossing buddy on my early espresso piece to remove the static cling so that my um, embossing powder won't stick to places I don't want it. All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle it on there. You can tap it off. This is the embossing additions kit. Um, tray it comes with the embossing buddy the reverse tweezers a paintbrush and the tray all right hit it with your heat tool this is our gold embossing powder and look how gorgeous that is i've become a little bit obsessed with um adding uh metallic embossing powder to dark colored cardstock lately. It just really is just stunning. You really should give it a try. All right, I've put some uh, adhesive there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna adhere it so that it's hanging off. But I'm gonna take my scissors and just snip that off like that. And then I'm gonna take one of the other leaves. I, well, I think maybe this leaf will do. We're gonna actually use that other leaf 
in a minute on the inside. Let's see, how do we want it to be like that? I kind of like how they're kind of reaching for each other, you know? All right, there we go. Now let's bring over our copper clay card base. And I'm gonna put this flat down onto our card base like that. And we have some Cajun Craze twine. Let's see if I can get it untangled to tie it up here. And I'm gonna tie it so that it looks like it's just right around the stem of that um, leaf right there. I really should have untangled this a little bit better. It would have been easier. All right, there we go. Grab your scissors, snip and snip. And then I have got um, these beautiful new, I think they're called Druzy dots. I'm gonna put just a few sprinkled around like that. I'm gonna bring back my um, grid paper because on the inside, I've got a piece of basic white. I'm gonna take my Cajun Craze stamp and blend and just kind of add a little bit of splatter to the inside. And then I'm gonna take this remaining leaf. The embossing folder cuts out three leaves, so we don't want it to go to waste. So let's put that right there and then and put this on the inside. I need to be careful because I've got inky fingers. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I think this would make a great masculine card as well. It's not too frilly and it's actually pretty darn simple. All right, make sure you check out the details over on my blog. Let me know if you have questions and happy stamping. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.